Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a fun, easy, fast recipe to help you beat that summer heat. I know it's not technically summer yet, but here where I live, we're already hitting 90 degrees outside, which is ridiculous. All I know is I'm just thankful that I'm not pregnant this summer like I was 12 years ago with a certain someone that was a miserable summer. But this is gonna be raspberry lemonade slushy. Now, if you don't like raspberries, you could absolutely substitute another berry in its place, like strawberries, blueberries would be really good, but blackberries I think would be amazing. So I'm probably gonna do this again and do a blackberry one. I might just do every, every version just to try them all, but it's super easy. You need four ingredients. You need, obviously you need raspberries. These are fresh raspberries. You probably saw me buy them in my grocery haul that I brought them home. I washed them, kind of patted them dry a little bit, and then I put them on a cookie sheet and flash froze them so they wouldn't be clumped together in a big clump. And then I put them in the Ziploc bag and kept them in the freezer. So these are frozen, but they are fresh berries, but they are frozen. You need a half a cup of sugar, two cups of ice, and the juice of two lemons. So whatever two lemons squeezes, that's how much juice. And that's it. So you're gonna throw it all in a blender and blend it up. Now I'm gonna tell you, my blender is old. It has seen better days. And to start out with, it was not the top of the line blender. So hey, KitchenAid, if you care to sponsor me, I'd be glad to try out your blender. I'm just saying. So let's get it blended up because I need something cold. So we're gonna dump everything in the blender. So the raspberries. The juice of two lemons. Half a cup of sugar. And two cups of ice cubes. It's probably gonna take forever to get this all crushed up because like I said, this blender is for the birds. Make sure this is on tight. There's nothing leaking. Okay. Here goes nothing. See what I mean? Getting there. Come on. Got it done. So here it is. It looks good. So we're gonna divide it up for everybody to try some. It's a good consistency. It's almost like a, like a sorbet. I really think this would be good with blackberries. See if I can do this without making a mess. Kids, y'all wanna try? Might need a spoon. Bailey, come try it. So it's kind of thick, 
but not like ice cream thick. It's like frozen yogurt. Here. Look how pretty. Is that good? Does it need more sugar? Mm, maybe just a little. A little bit. It's supposed to be tart. It's lemony. What do you think? I just don't like the seeds. I've never well, really like raspberry seeds. I know. I've just never really liked seeds and fruit. Oh, I'm gonna let mine melt a little bit so I can use a straw, not a spoon. But that's really pretty, so we're definitely gonna try this again with blackberries, maybe blueberries one day. Peaches would be probably pretty good with this. A peach um, slushy that my daddy would like a peach one. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that was helpful to help you beat the summer heat, especially in the South like we do, where it's not only hot, it's humid and you need a nice cold treat. And other than the sugar, this is pretty healthy. So if you wanna cut off the sugar, maybe use like a sweetener, that might be a pretty healthy treat for you and your family. So we're going to see y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.